Welcome to the Manana Ventures YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. I'm your tutor, Figure Store. So today we'll be doing um, logarithms and we'll be converting these from logarithm form into exponential form and then solving for x. We'll also do the opposite of converting from exponential form into logarithm form and then solving for x. Let's get right into it. So I have a simple rule when it comes to logarithms and that is that the bases are always the same. They're always the same for both forms. Both forms. Okay, let me show you what I mean. Let's take this one as an example. Number one. Log x 81 is equal to 2. Now, the base of this log is x. The base is always at the bottom. Okay? So, I'm going to have it as the base of the exponent as well because the bases are always the same. And then, the second thing I do is just swap the rest okay so these are my two rules for solving these um, questions so here we are we have a base now we need to swap these two so we have a base there and then swapping these two the two comes there and then the 81 goes there okay from there it's just a simple process of putting the square root the square root of 81 and then you will solve x to b now whenever you square root something the answer is always plus or minus okay 9 okay but since you can never have a minus square root therefore the final answer is plus. I mean, <laughs> a minus, a, what you call this thing, logarithm for this particular question. Okay, let's go to the second question. Second one is log 5x is equal to minus 2. Okay, now remember, first rule, the bases are always the same, and then I swap the rest. So the minus 2 comes there, and the x goes there. Okay, and then x, now this you can rewrite as 1 over 5 over 2. The minus 2 just means that it's 1 over 5 or exponent 2. So the final answer is 1 over 25. Okay, and then the last one that we're going to do, which is number 3, let me do it this side. We have log... 2x squared plus 2x is equal to 3. Okay, so that's one term. The rule still applies. Bases are the same. The base is 2. And then, secondly, swap the 2. Swap what's left. Okay, so the 3 comes up there. Okay. And then that just becomes x squared plus 2x. Okay. 
now all we're gonna do is that we're taking this to the other side such that we'll have x squared plus 2x minus 2 to the power 3 okay now this we can rewrite very quickly as x squared plus 2x that minus that 2 to the power 3 is 8 okay and then in solving for x open our brackets it's just normal factorization x on both sides we want a number that gives us minus 8 when we multiply it but will give us a plus 2 when we add it okay so we're going to have 4 and 2 now which one will be negative between 4 and 2 will depend on these ones that you add okay so when you add them since it's gonna be positive then the bigger number has to be positive and this one can be negative right and then your final answer x it's either minus 4 or x is 2 okay and that completes that question so let's go to the next one where now we have to convert these from exponential form into logarithm form the rules are still the same okay so starting with the first one 5x is equal to 100 so we're converting these exponents into logarithm form okay first bases are always the same so you have a log the base here is a 5 so that's 5 and then you swap the rest what's left so you swap the 100 you bring it this side and then you take the x that side from there it's just a simple use of a calculator so we're gonna say um, log 5 a base of 5 and over there we have 100 and then you get that your final answer your x is 2 point your x is equal to 2.8 eight six we leave it at two decimal places the next one number two is 25 is equal to 10x same thing okay that's the base so we have log the base is 10 and then swap what's left so that means the 25 comes this side and then the x goes there likewise we're just going to use a simple calculator for this one so we're going to have log with the base of 10 and then i'm at 25 1.38 x is equals to one point three eight then the last one we have is this one number three let's do number three over here so here we will have two times three x minus three is equal to twelve now you need to recognize that this is actually we can make it one term okay now we need this part to be alone so we'll need to get rid of this 2 such that we're left with 3 x minus 3 is equal to 12 divided by 2 we get 6 which is 2 this 2 divided both sides and we get that 
from there we have it in simple exponent form so we apply our rules log okay a base of what's our base our base is three okay and then what's left we swap it which means the six comes this side and then the x minus three goes that side okay now you can just use a calculator to get let's put the calculator there just need to make sure it shows on the screen right okay so you'll have log three and then there you have a six and you get 1.63 is equals to x minus 3. You take the 3 that side, it becomes 3 plus 1.63 is equals to x. So on our calculator, we can just add 3. And then we get that. Our final x is equals to 4.6 let me just show it on the screen over there well that uh, completes this section on logarithms and their exponents and converting them vice versa thank you very much